Hi guys, Yasas Kekalos Tirtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making use of those zucchinis that are abundant this time of year. We're going to be making a zucchini and potato bake with simple ingredients that pack so much flavor. You guys are going to love this dish. Let's get started. We're going to begin with about three or four potatoes. You're going to go ahead and peel them and then just slice them up. I just like to slice them down the center and then cut them in little slices. You want them to be not too thin and not too thick. Definitely thinner than the zucchini because potato does need a little more time than the zucchini does. Go ahead and put those in a large bowl and then we're going to move on to the zucchini. We're going to be using six fresh zucchini for this and I'm going to slice them into rounds about an inch, an inch and a half in thickness. This is what they look like once you slice them. Like I said, make sure that they're thicker than the potatoes. Go ahead and add those to the bowl. Then I'm just going to slice up one onion. I'm using a red onion here and again I'm just going to cut it down the center in half and then into thin half moons and I'm going to add that to the bowl. Then I have five whole garlic cloves that I'm just going to peel and slice those up and add them to the bowl. Then a little handful of kalamata olives. Mine are not pitted, so I'm just going to slice them around the pit and add those to the bowl as well. Then I have four tomatoes here. Now tomatoes are in season and they're really beautiful and fresh right now. And if you don't have fresh tomatoes for this, I don't recommend that you grate the fresh ones like I'm going to grate. You can just open up a 15 ounce can of pureed or canned tomatoes and use that instead. But since these are so fresh and flavorful, I'm just going to grate these using a box grater right over all of the veggies. I'm going to add lots of salt and pepper to this with a teaspoon of dried oregano and a little pinch of crushed red pepper flakes. And then I'm just going to toss everything all together and I'm going to transfer it to a 9 by 13 inch baking pan. If you want a thinner layer so that way they get a little bit crispier and cook faster, you can use a bigger pan if you have one. But this is going to work perfectly for me. I'm going to cover the pan with aluminum foil and I'm going to bake it in a preheated oven. I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to bake in there for 45 minutes covered. Then I'm going to go ahead and remove the foil and let it bake for another 45 minutes or until all of the veggies are fork tender. The liquid will evaporate and they're going be left in their oil. I, I'm not, I didn't add any liquid to this but you know that veggies hold a lot of water and they're going to release lots of liquid. You want to make sure you cook this until all of that liquid is gone and the sauce is pretty thick. You know it's ready when there's just oil left on the bottom and it's they're nice and caramelized on top. Once it comes out of the oven you want to let it sit for about 15 minutes to rest. Then I like to top it with some freshly chopped parsley a little bit of feta cheese. I like to serve this with some toasted bread and it is so delicious and just has so much flavor yet it's light and so easy to make. If you want to add the feta to this for, uh, during the last 20 minutes of cooking, you can do that. I'm going to leave it up to you. It's time for the taste test. Mm. So comforting. Everything literally melts in your mouth and it has so much flavor even though we use really basic ingredients. If you're not a fan of zucchini, you can definitely substitute so many different things for this. This is a take on the Greek classic recipe briam or turlu, depending on which part of Greece you're from. They call it different things, but it's the Greek version of like a ratatouille. If you don't like the zucchini, you can do mushrooms, bell peppers, eggplant. There's so many options. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you want to print this recipe out, head on over to the website, DimitrosDishes.com. If you want to learn how to make delicious bread to serve with this, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.